Hi, Graffiti Fellowship. God bless you. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, hope you've had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, as I'm recording this, it was Thanksgiving a couple days ago. And uh, hopefully that was a sweet time for you. If you're watching this much later, uh, I hope you've had a happy and uh, healthy past few days, no matter the time of year. <clears throat> we are uh, continuing today in our daily Bible reading. We're reading through the Gospels and the Book of Acts, just one chapter a day. And uh, today begins our second week of that habit and of this resource. And uh, I just want to say, as we've gone through a week already, when we start something new and we try to develop a new habit, uh, sometimes it can be kind of tough to get that habit uh, established. You know, by definition, a habit is something that we do over and over again. And so we have to do it over and over again in order for it to become a habit. And as we try to establish a habit, sometimes, almost all the time, we have what they call fits and starts. We uh, we do well one day and then we maybe forget another day. Or maybe just, you know, some days are just really tough and they're extenuating circumstances. Maybe your kid's sick. Maybe you're sick. Maybe you got called into work. Maybe it's just one of those when it rains it pours kind of days. And so those things happen. And I want you to know as we begin week two that, that that's okay. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you missed some days last week or if you missed all of last week. That's okay. We're looking for progress, not perfection, and that's how new habits are established. Now, the good news is all these videos are on, uh, you know, they're recorded. You can access them at any time. So if you have a little extra time one day or maybe over the weekend, you can always go back and catch up. You can go through these at your own pace. Uh, sure, we're trying to get to a place where each day, five days a week, we're reading the Bible together. But along the way, give yourself some grace. Don't beat yourself up. There's going to be mistakes. There's going to be days where it just doesn't go the way that you want it to go. And that's okay. We can't change yesterday. All we can do is say, all right, let me just do the very best I can today and try to do it again tomorrow. And over time, that's what will establish a habit. Okay, so today we're reading Matthew chapter 7. And uh, Matthew chapter 7 concludes this section of scripture that we've been reading called the Sermon on the Mount. And this is where Jesus begins to teach publicly about his kingdom. And we've seen so far that his kingdom is a very upside down kingdom. It's not what people would expect. And he continues that now in Matthew chapter 7. Uh, the first portion of this chapter, beginning in verse 1, is subtitled, Do Not Judge Others. Here's what it says. This is Jesus speaking. Do not judge others and you will not be judged. For, if, uh, for you'll be treated as you treat others, and the standard you use in judging is the standard by which you will be judged. And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How can you think of saying to your friend, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye, when you can't see past the log in your own eye? Hypocrite! First get rid of the log in your own eye, then you'll see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. Do not waste what is holy on people who are unholy. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. They will trample the pearls, then turn and attack you. Now verse 7 begins a section subtitled, Effective Prayer. Keep on asking and you'll receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you for everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks finds, and everyone who knocks, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the Law of the Prophets. You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way, but the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult. Only a few ever find it. 
This next section, beginning in verse 15, is subtitled, The Tree and Its Fruit. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolves. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? A good tree produces good fruit, and a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree can't produce bad fruit, and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. This next section is subtitled, True Disciples, verse 21. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many of you will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and performed many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise, and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it's built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority quite unlike their teachers of religious law. That was verse 29, which concludes Matthew chapter 7. Uh, Look forward to tomorrow, which will be Matthew chapter 8. God bless.